Ahmad Al Maghribi's bin shake is definitely worth having a decant. This smells so rich in the air, guys. It cannot get unnoticed at all. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. And today I'm going to talk about Ahmad Al Maghribi's Bean Shake. I know I've spoken about this in the past because I initially had a 2ml official wheel of Bean Shake, which comes in this kind of a 2ml sprayer. Okay. I initially did not plan to buy the full bottle because I heard from Perfume Guru that this is another inspired version of Bakar Rouge 540 and I'm generally not a big fan of Bakar Rouge 540 but after I use this one it smells so different guys because if it was similar to Bakar Rouge 540 then it would have smelled like Armaf Untold which is definitely one of the best inspired versions of Bakar Rouge 540 but I'm not a huge fan of or rather not even a fan of this one or Bakar Rouge 540. The only reason why I love this one and bought the full bottle because it smells so rich in the air. Okay, I know I have hyped merge as well. I still stand by that. I still give 0.5 marks more to this one than this one. And I'll tell you why. But let's continue the talks on Ahmad Al Maghribi. Before I get into the detail, let's quickly do the presentation box. The presentation box is top notch, guys. The outside of the box comes like this. It has all the details here, hologram sticker. It comes as a 90 ml Eau de Parfum. I think it is, yes. Eau de Parfum made in UAE. Manufacturing date is Feb 2023. Expiry is 2026. Feb. Okay. Even better is this presentation box. It's something like Zerjoff. Okay, I don't know if you had Zerjoff in your collection because Zerjoff Naxos is something that I had in the past and they use similar presentation box. Okay, similar presentation. The best part is this particular perfume from Ahmad Al Maghribi comes for around 5000. Okay, within that and Zerjoff comes for 12,000 to 14,000. Huge difference. You can buy two to two and a half of this one and I'll simply tell you guys this bottle or the juice right here has much better quality than Zerjoff Naxos or any of the Zerjoff okay if you're a lover of Zerjoff perfumes I don't really care because this is top notch okay I have owned Naxos myself I still agree that it is good but for the price difference this beats Zerjoff as well. Look at the presentation. Look at the bottle, guys. See that crystal cut. Look at that cap. Look at the finishing of the bottle. This is just wow. Okay, this is just wow. For 5,000, if you get presentations like this, if you get blends like this, if you get formulations like this, if you get performance like this, why would I even buy Zerjoff? Right, I'm not even comparing Naxos with this one, but I'm just telling you the price difference. Because if this kind of blends are done by European brands, they would easily price them at 15,000 to 20,000 for no reason. Just brand value. I give a damn to it, man. You can't beat Middle Eastern brands, honestly. The kind of blends they do, the kind of performance they do, you can't beat Middle Eastern brands, okay? If you don't like my statement, I cannot help it, but this is the fact. Now, let's talk about the blend. Now, this in my opinion, is not a perfect clone of Bakar Rouge 540. But if Maison Francis Courjouan had this in their BR 540 bottle, I would say that is better than this one. But unfortunately, it's the opposite here. This blend smells way richer, way better than the original Bakar Rouge 540 because this has that beautiful oud it smells like Hindi oud, but it does not have that skankiness, that animalic feel, nothing of that sort. This smells very different in the air and smells like a BR540 when you smell it up close. And that is why I was not very impressed when I first bought this because I obviously tested it by spraying here. I sniffed it. Okay, Bakar Roj 540, another. 
inspired version of that. But honestly, the kind of reactions that I got when I wore this is unbelievable, guys. It was two ladies from my office who kept praising my fragrance and I was really surprised. Then what I did was I came back home, sprayed two sprays on my daughter just to understand how it smells in the air. And I do all of these, you know, experiments. You won't believe I'm like very crazy about all these experiments because I was wondering why these two ladies in my office had to react so crazy about this one because it's an oud fragrance, right? And oud is generally not appreciated by all. So I knew that it smelled very different in the air and I wanted to test it myself. I sprayed two sprays on my daughter. Oof, my God, after 15 minutes, it just blew my mind and I did not sniff her from close because every time I went close just to sniff it, I was getting that BR540 Maltol note, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm just bored with that. But from distance, it smelled gorgeous, guys. That rich woody accord, which is oud, but has that nice creamy smokiness. It is top notch, guys. It smells so rich in the air. Such a top notch blend. You won't believe this is an up class even fragrance. You definitely have to have at least a decant. I know the full bottle is a little expensive for many people out there. Okay, 5,000 might be a little expensive, but this kind of fragrance is definitely a must have if you want to use special rich blends for special occasions. Obviously, it smells way better in the cooler seasons. I wouldn't really suggest this for daytime summer, but it would still go in the evening times of summer and it would smell way better in the winter seasons or cooler seasons. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can't use it in the summers, but try using it for the evenings and night times. Do not use it in the daytime, summer, super high heat. Okay, then it may not give you the same feel what I just spoke about. Performance, Pff, top notch, okay? I told you about two sprays and how it was projecting. So projection is about three to four hours. And the last thing on my clothes was for about two to three days, guys. Two to three days on my clothes, okay? And that is why I felt this should definitely have a full review in my channel. And that's why I got the full bottle in my just for the review, okay, so that you guys know that I have spent it on my own to get the full bottle, though I have already done the review of this one with this little miniature right here, okay? Now, blend-wise, like I said, it definitely has some bit of rose. There is amber, there is ambroxan, there is patchouli, but that BR540 is just sprinkled on that nice, smoky, creamy oud. Okay, that's the best way I can explain this. If you dig your nose, you get that maltol sugar candy vibe. But if you don't dig your nose, you get that beautiful, smoky, creamy sandalwood oud without that skankiness, with some sprinkles of that sugar coatings. Okay, that beautiful it is, that rich, that top notch. It smells like a rich guy. Okay, like the shake. The name itself says bin shake. Now, bin shake in Arabic means son of a king. Okay, that's what it means. So it smells like the son of a king. Whew, so gorgeous. And the reason I said I would still give much 0.5 marks more, and that's because this does not have any copied version. This is not inspired by any fragrance that I have tried till date. Okay, this does not have BR540. This does not have any other fragrance that I've tried. This is another level, guys. The only reason why I give half point more to this one is because this has an inspiration from BR540, although they have taken it in their own Middle Eastern style with some rich accords, but this one did not remind me of any fragrance. And that's why half point more still goes to much, and I would still choose this one slightly more than Bin Shake. But in my honest opinion, if you have the money and if you want a very top-notch fragrance for high-class events or marriages i think you definitely have to own both at least get a decan guys this is definitely worth a decan because all you need is three to four sprays so i think a 10 ml decan would at least go for one year if you're using using that occasionally okay so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you've tried this comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers